Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to beat the Riven against Jax matchup in Season 11, guys. Uh, this is also a Grandmaster slash Challenger game. Uh, currently playing with my, my Grandmaster Smurf, so... You know, that's currently the elo of this game. Pretty much... Hi, elo. Anyways, the Jax matchup is always interesting. Um, I also have the Conqueror page. Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Transcendence with Scorch. Okay. We also have a Longsword because, I, in my opinion, this matchup is pretty easy. Okay, so. The way how this matchup works is honestly very straightforward, okay? Level 1, Jax wins. Like, he's just gonna, he's gonna press E and then beat you, so... <coughs> honestly, just try to avoid fighting Jax early on, uh, level 1. As soon as you get level 3, this e th this matchup becomes easy. I'm going to show you. Like, as soon as you get level 3, the, the matchup completely changes into... Um, it, it becomes, like, completely favored for Riven. Okay. I'm not going to use my potion yet. They have a... They have a Silas in the jungle. Alright. Let's do like a quick auto between, because I could really use it for anything else. I think I'm probably going to rush the Hydra build into Jax too. Probably. Honestly, I'm not even surprised if Jax goes back to base here. Yeah, he actually went back. I'll see if I can like clear this out as quickly as I can. Like he actually wants to push down the wave so he could backport right here in, in the brush so he couldn't really miss any farm. But if you can push this super fast, you can actually uh, reset as well. There we go. Like honestly, the best counter to the cheater recall that they are using is basically either by uh, slow pushing the wave directly into Jax, or actually having the wave completely pushed into him um, as soon as you notice it. Okay, we're gonna be starting. We're, we're gonna start trading this Jax now. This is where things will get really fun. Also, Sai is currently dead, so he's not here. Nice. I'm gonna pop my uh, my potions here. I got him. Like honestly, like this this is honestly how the Jax matchup works. It's honestly that easy. Uh, you simply trade Jax with the upcoming QW into auto attack, so you will never miss that. And as soon as he tries to like E on you, you walk back. And then you directly go back into him with your Q and your entire combo, which gets back up instantly. Like, honestly, th this matchup is is that simple to understand. It's just... Um, the only thing required in this matchup is, like, a decent amount of mechanics. Oh. Oh, you're, you're smart. Oh, he actually flashed and then he can like he did the W and also cancel the uh, the auto attack. Okay, sure, it's fine though. I'll get a Dorn's blade here. I'm, I'm gonna sort of start freezing this up. Oh, he was a little too fast. Okay, no problem. I'm still fine in this matchup though. Even if we die once, it's still okay for me because I'm not losing the farm here. I'm not falling behind from what just happened. I'm gonna push this one very hard as well. He's walking back right now. Okay, Silas is currently right here. I could actually have the pressure and then uh, just fight that Jax, but I need Hacker to fight with me as well, because I think Silas is currently here. 
Thank you, Silas. Like I said earlier, Silas was right here, and I knew he was going to walk this direction, so... It was kind of obvious. Okay. You kind of want to trade him like this the entire time. Okay, we got him. Let's push up at least into the into this. Um, we're going to take at least one plating, including an entire wave, and then we get back after. Okay. We get the plating. And now we're going to get back really fast. We, we're going to have to reset super fast. I think I'll just go for... Uh, for Hydras, the first item. So I can get the, my power spike early. I will also just, um, inst rather than buying life seal, even though it's pretty good for lane, I rather just rush uh, the team out because it allows for pushing the lane like a lot easier. <coughs> okay, here we go. The matchup is going to get really fun now because I also have the AoE damage from the team at now if I do my autos. Silas is currently bot lane, so I won't have to worry about him either. Thank you. Like I mentioned earlier, as long as you know the limits in this matchup, it's honestly a pretty easy matchup. Uh, I do have to be a little careful though, because Jax could potentially like teleport. Kind of depends. I'm not even sure if if, he's tele if he used it or not yet. Actually, didn't like notice the TP earlier. <coughs> so we already have high charge, guys. Nine minutes in the game, we already have this thing. But yeah, honestly, in matchups such as like Jax, uh, instead of going Gathering Storm, you could also take Scorch because in the Jax matchup, you're going to be trading like constantly. So every time this thing gets back up, you're going to be proccing it. Literally the whole time. You're going to be short trading, you proc it, you're going to back off. In 10 seconds, you're just going to proc it again by doing like another short trade. Pretty much going to do this on repeat. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for my ultimate to come right now so I can uh, kill him again. Silas is currently on the dragon. You could also take Nullifying Orb in this matchup. One, th uh, one thing though, like, if you go Hydra into Jax, uh, it does make this matchup, like, um, a little more risky since one mistake could potentially, like, it could kill you. Okay, we have Hackram on my, on my side too, so... I just want to take that plating away. Okay, there we go. We got it. My jungler is also taking down a hero right now, so we can soon take the turret all, all together. <coughs> okay, let's fight him. We have TFL too. Oh, we have some company here by his support. Three people are currently topside. Oh. 
I want Hacker to spawn the Herald right here so I can finish the, uh, the lane. Uh, Akrib! Akrib! Where are you going? <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. We could have actually killed him if he ran down here first. Ah, uh, kind of unfortunate. Oh, wow. If Hakrim ran down here instead of trying to fight Silas right there, uh, we would have actually been able to kill Jax and, uh, and their support quite easily. Whatever. Their Jenna is roaming, uh, which means that our support and ADC is on a 2v1, so it's not that bad. I believe this Vladimir could even be alone. See if I can uh, all in him or not. Oh, I think he's actually going to go back here, okay. I'll just push up the next wave and then I get back after. Hello there, Jax. I'm not gonna fight Jax now. Uh, he could he, he could fight me if he wants to. He's also using his E like this, which probably means that there's someone else nearby. Uh, let's get this and this and there we go. Okay, now we can start fighting him. <clears throat> Got my TP up as well, so I could go bot lane and uh, oh, I could even have them dive. I could. Let's take a look here. <coughs> Gotta be careful of Sidus though, he's currently missing on the map. I have no idea where he's currently at. If I walk up to this lane now, he could show. Okay, he's down there. Sure. I'm gonna move up to I'm gonna move up to this guy. Wow. Ah, oh, this Vladimir is walking off with like 10 HP. Man, that's that's really unfortunate. He's uh he actually healed on the last second, so when I jumped on him he just got like 400 HP back. Okay, my AD carry is alive. He's worth gold, so. Kind of unfortunate. If we had that Vladimir ourselves, we would have had all the gold from him, which would be very useful, but. Whatever. Another TP coming for Vladimir, okay? If they get that Vladimir there, oh yeah, that's actually great. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can take a few camps. Oh well, whoops. I have to be very, very careful to where Jax is going to come from, because he could be here as well. Going to do an attempt to take this one. Nice, I got it. I'll take this one as well. I've got every single camp away from Jet Jax. He's not going to be able to get any of them. Maybe I could also kill him right here since we're level 11, nearly level 12. 
I'm just going to get the level 12 with my ultimate, never mind. I'm just pressing my R on the creeps just to get level 12. It's fine. <clears throat> I can't wait to actually get my core drinker. Once I get like Hydra with core drinker, I'll be pretty strong. Uh, currently no vision. <coughs> By the way, guys, if you're looking for the full build of Riven, I'm leaving the entire full build inside of the description, guys. Don't forget. Uh, that guy's dead. Yeah, that guy was 100% dead. These guys are fighting. Don't have my my TP yet, but let's see what this Jax does. He's going back to base. I'll probably just pu uh, push the next wave afterwards and then rotate towards their jungle camp. Okay. I'll see if I can take this camp away. That's why I'm trying to like push that fat that quickly. It would be very good if I can get this one as well. They will eventually like fall behind extremely hard if I keep farming like this. Uh, just because I'm constantly like taking their camps and everything. Got my gore drink in about 350 gold. I need slightly more for my items, so I'll just go ahead, take this one, take the next wave, and then get back after. Nice. All I need is just one more wave, and then I have my Gore Drinker. Also got my Flash Up, which we're going to be using very, very soon. Alright, let's get back. Got my Gore Drinker. I'm gonna take down the Vladimir. Wow, we somehow managed to get away. I'm honestly very impressed. Wow, that's I. Wow, he actually got away. What? Okay, sure. I'm impressed, man. He actually got away there. That Vladimir is also pretty huge, so I can't just stop him. Okay. He's, he healed so much from that. I'm going to get a, like, a chainsaw very soon. I need to get something to stop their healing. We'll push out the entire wave all the way like this. Dragon spawns in like 20 seconds though. Okay, let's get back real quick. I'm gonna get this item now. I'll need this item pretty badly to stop their healing. Just gonna get this one first. Please, Hakrim, play the game. The dragon is spawning in like 5 seconds. So, but I think we're gonna miss it. We will see. Hopefully, we're not going to miss this dragon, though. <clears throat> okay. Got him. Okay. 
Thank you very much. We're going to get the dragon from this as well. I'll just leave that up to Hakrim. I think he can just take it, so... Ooh, more cans for me. Sure, I'll take it. Ooh, we're lucky. Ooh, all the camps are free for me. I'll take it all, man. Sure, I've got like every single camp of theirs. Why not? I can get the item very soon. I just got to keep pushing a little bit more. I'll just get the blue buff as well. If the sooner I get that item, the better. I need like 250 for the item now. Uh, 50 golds. Okay, let's get back. Let's, uh, let's actually get the item now. Perfect. This is such a perfect item in certain situations. We can totally fight these guys super easily. Wow. Okay, he stopped me from jumping. Jax is splitting bot lane? Why were you... No, 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 no. You're not gonna take that turret. Uh, he's right here. Oh, my Q is expired. Okay, I'm level 15. I'm so huge right now. Even like surpassing Vladimir. They're all here right now. <clears throat> Gonna see if they have any wards. Baron time? Let's get that Baron. All three of them are down. You're not getting my ward, man. Hello there, Jax. Jenna's right behind him. Okay, I need to get back real fast. I'm gonna get a death stance, probably. Yep. And I'll sell this and get some more damage. Because why not? I need like 250 gold. <coughs> Thinking about going bot lane.
That's the ultimate? That, that's... Okay. <laughs> Baiting that Jaxi so easily. Trying to get my death sense. Got my TP in 40. Hopefully, Jax is not going to split push this. Hopefully, not. I think he will, though. We'll just push one more. Yeah, here he is. I mean... To be honest, I'm not even sure what he's thinking. Like, how is he gonna beat me at this stage? I'm like so fed right now. Nice attempt, but it's, it's not working. Okay, we need them to push. Pressure. So I can split. Okay, so if my team actually goes mid right now as four pe as four men, I'll be able to like push out that jacks easily. Thank you. I've got death stuns, no one can beat me at this stage. <laughs> well. Okay, okay, okay. Four four men can still beat me, okay? Four people can still beat me at this stage. But I'll have my most secret item of all time now. The item that counters everyone. I'll get a Guardian's Angel. <laughs> <coughs> they used a lot of ults. I just need my team to like push mid now and just do something. Oh. Trying to fight a Jax. All right, team. I'll just need them to push mid now. That's all. The next fight will also start in two minutes, so it's just a matter of waiting. Let's get a red potion here. I'll be even stronger. All right, I got you. I mean, he doesn't really ever stop me, man. Look, look at how tanky I am. All right, there we go. We could just continue to push mid. Honestly, we don't even have to go for. Uh, yeah, okay. These guys are like farming. Okay. We just have to push mid now. I think we could honestly even end the game. There we go. Who, who's talking about going back to base and resetting, right? We're just gonna... We're gonna win this game like a man. We're just gonna finish. Who who needs to go back to base if we can just finish? Alright. Hey, anyways, guys. This is pretty much how you played Riveting against the Jax in a Grandmaster game. 
so you know that was the elo of this game once again uh also the hydrogen the core drinker build i'm gonna leave the entire build below in the description guys anyways this game is being played live on stream don't, even, don't forget to check out my stream guys uh stream like six times a week but yeah hey anyways guys wait fine okay anyway thank you for watching today's video and i'll catch you guys next time peace